Hi everyone, my name is Tarona and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this DIY clay bowl or candle holder. This is my second clay tutorial of all time. In my, I'll have a playlist to show you all my old videos so you can go and check that out. Um, so let's get to it shall we. First of all, you're going to have your materials which are all here. You can pause this to check out what exactly you need and this is the first part so firstly you're going to use your clay to mold out a certain round shape which is pretty much e easy to explain and then you flatten out some more clay and then you uh, cut out some shapes of leaves in different size and um, design and then you're going to stick them into onto the clay with the with water because with this clay i need water so that's why i I needed to do this and now we go on to painting um, the reason why I didn't have a video recording of me actually making the bowl is because I silly me forgot to record it so unfortunately you only get to see the part where I'm painting so I'm sorry about that but hopefully next time I'll make sure to um, record it properly so what i'm doing here is i'm mixing all the colors as you saw before you saw the paints that i'm using which is gold burnt umber vermilion and cadmium yellow so right now i mixed gold and burnt umber and this would be the base of my most um, sorry the base of my clay and the reason why i'm doing this is a very autumn themed type bowl of clay so um I thought I'll go with that. So that's why I'm decorating it in that way. So I really hope you like this. Once that's done, you'll see it's all painted on the inside as well as the outside. I made sure not to get it on the leaves because we're going to be painting them in different colours. So the first colour I chose to use is burnt umber. Now to try and make sure to space out the paints and the colours that you use on, on different leaves, try not to make them next to each other. So if you're using burnt umber here, try not to use the burnt umber again near the leaf or say for example the one on the left or the one on the right right next to it try and like space them out so that way it would look really um colorful and uh nice to look at it would be aesthetically pleasing as well so um so the first color i'm using is burnt umber i had to make sure to get into the crevices of each part of the leaves because of the the way it's shaped so you need to be careful and um, obviously this is speeded up but i did take my time and um I made sure to try not to get it on the base and even if I did it's okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up again at the end so that you can make sure to add the little parts, uh, the details at the end as well. Um, if you, I don't know if you noticed but when I was making the leaves I added the little veins of the leaves to give it some more extra details and that helps with the detail and aesthetics of the leaves as well and also i used a thin brush and watered down the paint as well and making sure that because i'm using clay here as my main product the paint would be a lot more difficult to actually um, dry out in that way so you need to make sure that it's uh you're using a lot of paint to make sure that it's properly on the actual clay as well so here i'm using gold this time so again a very different and this is like metallic -y gold so i really hope you guys like this i really like this i really love how this turned out and um, i really really enjoyed making this as well it was really fun and um, yeah so i really hope that you enjoyed enjoy this tutorial i'm sorry if i keep saying um and and a lot as well it's just um I'm, i just said it again i'm just not used to talking too much while it's like this in on recordings but hopefully this is okay it's my first time doing it after a very long time so yeah but yeah so yeah i used the gold next to the brown leaf as you can see so it gives it a nice color and touch um 
So the accent of it is really nice. And then we move on to vermilion. So here I used, I wanted it to be not too bright. So I wanted to down, down the color. So with vermilion, I added burnt umber. So it gave me this reddish brown color, as you can see. And um, I really like how that turned out because it's not super bright. But you can also have it like that as well if you want to. But I personally wanted it to have this autumn feel to it, so I wanted to go for something a little similar to this. So again, as you can see, I'm going in the on the crevices of each part, so make sure you do that. And um, it's okay if you don't do this at the beginning. I mean, just to cover most of the basics is fine. So because once it's all dried up, because it's like the way I'm holding it, you can see the way I'm holding it, I have to hold it on the inside as well as the side of the thing because some of the paints are not dried yet. So what you can do is just do as much of it as you can while you have the time to do it in while it's drying. And then near the, at the end of it, you can retouch the parts that needs to be retouched again because after when it's dried, because that way you don't, you know mess it around too much and then you don't get too much paint on your hands as well obviously not the case for me because i end up with a lot of paint in my hands anyway so i'm okay with that <laughs> but yeah so again i spread it out the leaves again i'm not making them too close to each other and um, not using too many of the same colors i used um a few colors and but i didn't go over with a lot of different colors which you can but i prefer to do a few colors so i used here just pure vermilion which i used only i think two or one of the leaves i think or three of the leaves but again it's used in a moderate way it's not used to so brightly and shining and everything like that that it would overpower the other colors too much so yeah, and as you can see, some of my uh, clay pieces of the leaves are sticking out of the bowl. So you need to make sure you do both sides and not just one side, because then you're going to end up with just the clay looking on the outside of it as well, because it's visible, so people can see this. So you want it to be nice and bright and colourful. So yeah, I'll just leave you with that for now. Now, it wouldn't be autumn if you don't have a bit of yellow because you do see a bit of colours, you see a multiple of colours. So here I am using cadmium yellow for the rest of the leaves and um, as you can see they are very bright and again it's not too many of them but it helps because it balances out the dark colours with the bright colours. So even though I'm using yellow as well as the vermilion, it's not too much and it doesn't seem overpowering because of the fact that my main base colour of my bowl is a darker colour than the actual leaves and it really does brighten up the whole bowl as well and it does look really autumn-like as well so yeah it is really colourful it's very bright and as you can see again what I was trying to say before which is use a lot of paint because you're using clay it's going to absorb a lot more paint so make sure you have more paint to use and or if you are using it thinning down then you should add a bit of um, multiple layers of coats to the paint and in my case i did a bit of both so i actually sorry i didn't add um, multiple layers i just did one layer but i did a lot of paint so this is the last part, this is like the back of the the bowl, which you do not have to paint. I know some people don't actually paint the back of the bowl, but I wanted to keep the consistency there, so I made sure to paint it. And it also says handmade by me, so it's got my name, so it says handmade by Tarana B. Star. So yeah, and that's really about it. So that's what you end up with. 
Now to give it that shine, I used some varnish, which you must always do when you're working with clay, by the way. Whether it's gloss or matte, it's absolutely fine. I'm using gloss here. And as you can see, I'm using a generous amount. It basically seals in the clay as well as the paint inside onto the uh, the clay as well as the uh, so it doesn't like fade off and everything over time and as you can see I'm using a lot a, a very generous amount because a it would make it very sturdy and like conceal it a lot well well not conceal it but seal it in really well and b because I wanted to look very shiny so to get that shiny effect that you saw just before, that's basically what I'm using. As you can see, I'm also pushing it around with my brush, the, the actual bowl, so that I'm not touching the uh, surface too much of it. So, and um, because I can't do the base at the moment, I'm doing the edges at the moment. So after when the base has dried, as you can see, it's all shiny looking and bright, and which I love so much. So now you're going to do the back of the bowl and basically what I did was I waited a little bit for the sides of the bowl to dry enough that I can actually do the back and don't have to wait too long for the side to dry but you must make sure the whole thing is dried. Anyways, at the end of it you will get this beautiful handmade candle clay bowl or a decorative bowl up to you so this is how the finished product looks and i really am proud of how this turned out it's very nice it's a very autumn like so i hope you all enjoyed so thank you for watching and please make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys